Hey, hey, how you doing today? Hello. My name is Alan the Talent. I'm here to do damage and yeah. step to the challenge. All right, guys, I'm live right now in the studio. This is the Matty Ice Show. I got Arizona recording artist Brent Allen. Um, I'm actually really excited for this interview. I chopped it up with him about a couple weeks ago. I met him through my dog, the real Kyrie. They both have a, a pretty a pretty dope relationship. They're working on music together. Um, they've been in the studio together, and Kyrie's had a lot of good stuff to say about you, bro. Appreciate you. So that's why you're here, dog. I hit you up personally. I wanted you on the show, bro. Um, you're going to perform today. I think you're going to perform an older track, maybe something newer, too. So mm -hmm. we'll see. I'm going to become a fan today, hopefully, bro. My um, dog, hopefully. I'm going to listen to the music, bro, and uh, hopefully become a fan, bro. But... Let's talk about this. Let's start it off like this, bro, because I want people to get to know you. Mm -hmm. um, the purpose of this interview really, for I think, really is just to get people to know you, know your music, and know what you're about, bro, because um, I wouldn't necessarily say you're a new artist because you've been in the game for some time. You've been you know, in music for a while, but mm -hmm. um, you're coming up, so it's time yes, to let people know what's up. Um, so are you actually born and raised in Arizona? No, nah, so I'm originally from Illinois. Me too, um, bro, me too. Okay, perfect. So I'm from Rockford, Illinois, uh, right between uh, Chicago and Milwaukee. I know Rockford really yep, well, bro. absolutely. So uh, I left there when I was about 18 or 19, bro. Uh, lived in Colorado for two years, went to Minnesota, lived in Milwaukee as well. Uh, I was doing a job as a GC for a roofing company, believe okay. it or not. And uh, that landed me up here in Arizona. There was no work here. I had my son around the same time, so I just decided to play my roots here, you know, and start all over. Did you go to Elgin up in Rock? You know where uh, in Rockford's not too far from Elgin? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Rockford's, uh, Illinois is a crazy place, bro. Do you like it better here in Arizona or Illinois? Uh, I definitely like it here better because I feel like there's a lot more opportunity. You know, Rockford probably had a population of like 350,000, somewhere in that ballpark, but we have maybe 100,000 less people than what we did when I was there, you know? However, like Fred Van Fleet, he's from Rockford, um, so he's done a lot for the city, but there's still a lot of things that go on there. You know what I'm saying? Not the greatest place to be. So you mentioned that you have kids. How many kids do you have? Uh, two. I have my son who's uh, six and then my daughter who just turned two. On the 4th cool. of July. Congratulations. That's fire, bro. I wish I had a... I need some kids, bro. I'm, I'm trying, bro. Soon. Yeah, I want to yeah. say I'm trying, but I want some kids, The bro. bachelor life, though, man. It's probably hard. <laughs> and turning 34 is getting a little bit uh, redundant at this point, though, to be honest with you, dog. Are you, mar you married, too? Uh, not married, but, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got a girl. Yeah, absolutely. Love her to death. Uh, she means the world to me. Um, yeah, man. And honestly, she's like my biggest inspiration on top of my kids for what I do, what I do. Um, honestly, bro, I just really want to die motivating and inspiring other people, to be honest with you. Like coming from where I come from, bro, like I remember that's the reason why I even took the roofing job is because I remember those days when I would like look at my textbooks. And I would think, like, man, I can't wait till I'm, like, 30 or 40, and I can go here, and I can do this, and I can do that. Like, my mind was so small, you know what I'm saying, just because of my circumstance. But once I was able to get that opportunity and move out into, to Colorado and be there for two years and really see more of the world, you know, um, just made me realize that I could really do something. So you know, let me ask my wings. you, you said because of your circumstance um, that your mind was small. What was your circumstance that, you know, made you think small, your mind was small? What was it? Um... I think the fact that just a lot of people never made it out of our city, you know, um, just all the people that died, you know, all my homies that are in jail, like my two homies. In Rockford. I mean, there's good and bad parts of Rockford. Exactly. Like at one point, Rockford was the most dangerous city per capita, uh, like when I was in high school, um, just because we had more deaths than we had births at one point in time. So like my two homies that got me into music, one is still currently in jail and the other one's on the run, you know. So, you know, I just I was just I just felt lost. You know what I'm saying? I felt hopeless. Like when we used to do music together, it just gave me that that hope like oh we can do something like back when I was like 13 14 I don't like talking about past stuff but it's somewhat relevant like we did open up for like Juicy J you know what I'm saying little stuff back then when we were younger that was but, in 13 and 14 yeah maybe 15 maybe about 15 about seven eight years ago mm, at least yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we it was at the uh, Martin Luther King Center in Chicago okay you know what I'm talking yeah, about yeah I do yep so um once they went to jail when I was in high school they were the ones that got me into it and so I just kind of gave it up you know, that's really what it was. But That wasn't I, your path, though. Jail wasn't your path. You didn't want to go down that path. No, absolutely not. You know, one was a GD. The other one was a uh, was a Latin King. So I always stayed neutral, you know, just because I saw the beefs that they had with one another. And uh, I'm kind of glad I experienced that, though, you know. Have you ever been involved with, like, gang activity, gang life, anything like that? Um, was it something that was maybe in your past or not? Yeah, I'm, I'm neutral. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I've always been neutral. But, okay. yeah, I've definitely did with and dabble, you know. But it's not something that I... Proud of or yeah, that I glorify at any point in time. Okay. I mean, at any way. I mean, I talk about things like that in my music, but I'm not a gimmicky person. For you know, sure. the reason why I go by Brent Allen is because it is my government. I don't believe in a whole facade. You know, I want people to genuinely feel me know for who, who I am. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And uh, hopefully, I'll be able to tell my story in a way that other people can relate to um, and identify with. On top of having fun with like my own orthodox wordplay and rhyme schemes and so on and so forth. You know, it's crazy. 
not to like I don't glorify gang violence anything like that I you know I, I don't even understand a lot of the circumstances but one thing I will say is I do understand that if you walk into that life you know what you're expecting mm -hmm. um, good and bad you know what I mean so you know what you're expecting when you walk into that so that goes for anybody out there I'm not going to tell you what to do what not to do uh, you know everybody is born into their own circumstances you know and everybody has to make their own money somehow so leave it at there I guess bro um, when did you when would you say you got into music um so my buddy isaiah um when we were about 12 13 he's colombian right so his uncle nanu he actually make, made us do a uh, homework to build us an in-home studio Damn. so we had to like re-brick uh you know the garden we had to redo the floor and every time we did something for him he would buy us like a new piece of equipment so by that by that time like i said maybe 13 or so we finally had that in-home studio and then we had did our first project in like 24 hours oh no it was like two days I want to say we just locked into the basement did like 10 songs back to back Zay would engineer it I'd write record he engineered it I'd write another one and just back to back and that's where the passion really started right there like I still got old YouTube videos and stuff I used to go by Brent Goofy I was like the fat dude I used to say like <laughs> funny witty bars you know but I just don't want to do that anymore. I just want to be me change you know? the brand up a little bit absolutely so Brent Goofy was back in the day it's Brent Allen now uh, yeah. Still a little goofy though with the homies. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. What's it like working with guys like Kyrie out here, seeing how they work? Um, these Arizona artists, who are you really tapped in with out here? Obviously, I know you know everybody's tapped in with Kyrie out here. Mm -hmm. He has a show coming up. Um, the uh, September second. Yep, with no Zone Out Fest. I'm actually hosting it. Um, I saw that. Shout Super out Nova Zone, my first opportunity. So I'm really excited for that. Congrats, Literally, baby. bro. Yeah. So yes, sir. Appreciate No for the opportunity. Um, mm -hmm. Samara Sin's gonna be up there. Kyrie's gonna be up there. Obviously, Nova and the band's gonna be performing. Um, and then a bunch of other artists who I'm looking forward. To. I'm actually gonna have them come to the studio before the fest and uh, get to meet all them as well. Um, hopefully, I'll see you up there. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Dog. I'll be there to support. Um, so as far as like. What I think about the Arizona music scene, uh, I feel like there's a lot of genuine people here in the Valley, but because it's such a large melting pot, I feel like that causes some like, oh, I'm better than, you know, I can't fuck with you. Can I interrupt you for a second, bro? Go oh, ahead. Before, because I lose my train of thought. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but go I want to I want to get this set right now, bro. Yeah, go ahead. And I hate that I have to say this, bro. And I'm not, I'm not going to name any names, but who, who, if somebody's seeing this, they're going to know exactly who, who it is. Um, but as of recently, I've hit up some artists here in the valley mm -hmm. and it's in particular about samara sin okay. um i just interviewed samara sin and she to this moment still has me like in days about it um i think she's incredible just Absolutely. Her, her performance was top it was it, it, i want to say it's the best performance on the show mm -hmm. and I, I hit her up it, early it, Shit, yeah, i'm not gonna lie she, i love it she's incredible bro um but i hit up other artists like yo bro let's you know i want you to see this I want you, and it's like Bro, just show love, bro. Why are you scared that she's, like, maybe bigger than you or she's going to be bigger than you or better than you? I'd be like, fuck, I want to get on that. Maybe because she might be the next Rihanna or whatever, you know, at that level. Like, mm -hmm. I want to work with her. Absolutely. And that's the only thing that's bothered me with Arizona recently, and I can say that because I really know firsthand. Like, these artists, do they really want to work with these artists out here? And especially as somebody like Samara, I would work with her in a second. You feel me? Well, I've met her several times before I actually saw the performance. I met her at Aura when me and mm -hmm. Kyrie performed. And then my buddy Flix, who's been doing the whole Empire situation with me, he records with her all the time, has like a couple beats. Just fire. start. So he's been talking about her for a little while. So, But she's just been hard to get a hold of, for real. Is she really? It's, at least for me, right, but right, I, right, I'm, right. you know, I got I'm you. new. Yeah, so no, she's she's actually hard to. She's know. not she's not the easiest on the phone. I'll be honest with you. Um, you and know. that's a good thing because she's probably busy. So I understand mm -hmm. that. Too. I respect it 100 percent for sure. But she's a talent. She's a force. She's a problem. And all these Arizona artists need to take notice right now because I'd be wanting to work with her. I want to pick her brain because she's newer in the game. And uh, that's all I'm gonna say. We got one here. Yeah, we she's... got one in Arizona, bro. Finally, bro. And I mean, we've had one here, you know. But mm -hmm. like, there's not somebody right now that I would say is coming up that really 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 as a female artist especially can you name them because we were just sitting here i was just asking her like who are they i want to know well somebody i don't know who it was but somebody told me that a girl from south phoenix got signed mm -hmm. like to td or... well, shout out young reese i saw he got signed yesterday yeah. by a by a french, french. montana yeah, mm -hmm. shout out young reese. yeah that young mommy project was pretty far mm -hmm. I, uh, I haven't had him in here yet i gotta get him in here yeah i'm surprised i'm surprised mm -hmm. he's been going crazy for a while i dm'd him a couple times and he got back to me once and mm -hmm. then uh he just we just didn't connect after that bro and uh, i'm not the type where i'm just gonna sit there and you know chase him down yeah exactly so i get it we'll make Makes it happen sense. it will happen eventually absolutely i know it will. he's gonna come out with some music and mm -hmm. we're just gonna have no choice yeah um 
but yeah, bro, like I said, getting back to that, you know, as far as artists here in Arizona, obviously we have the guys like Kyrie, Sincerely Collins. Um, we got producers like Leno. You know, we got, there's a lot of artists here in Arizona that are that are doing incredible stuff. I just think, you know, as a female artist, she's doing great things, bro. So maybe one day you guys can do some business together. Yeah, hopefully. Like I feel get a project. Uh, yeah, man, I hopefully, um, I, like when I hit her earlier, I just... I just really asked her, like, you know, maybe she could just help me tap into, like, a whole new bag. Because I really mm-hmm. want to learn. That's really how I met Kyrie. Josh mm-hmm. was there. I mean, I didn't, I wasn't to record. It wasn't to do music. Like, even when I hit you, like, forever ago, bro, it's just because I want to learn. I want to yeah, get better. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It, it's been so long since I've done music. So I want to learn from people above me, same level as me, below me, all aspects at the end of the day. So that way I can grow for real. Okay. Um, Let's talk right now. You've had shows. Let's talk projects and singles, though. So... Let me ask you this. What was your first project EP that you put out, if there is one out? Um, the first one that I put out since I got back into music was a first quarter that okay. I recorded with Kyrie. And that was when? Uh, a couple months ago. Uh, March, I want to say. So you have I a full was. EP with Kyrie? Yeah. Uh, no, he's on the third track, Ease My Mind. And how many tracks are on there? Five. Okay, so we got a five-track EP that dropped about a few months ago. Mm-hmm. Have yep. you rolled out any singles since then? Uh, no singles, nothing. Okay. I've been working on other projects. Uh, I'm working on one called Mixed Emotions with a producer named Belvedere. That's more of like an album-like thing. I've been working on it for a very long time. Um, and then the newest project, which is Blackjack, which I've done recently. So there's a project coming out called Blackjack, which is going to be a single? Uh, it's going to be a full-length project. Well, not full-length, another EP, five tracks, okay. all different vibes, just to showcase my versatility. It's going to drop next month in August. Why do you choose five? Is five your number? I know we got 815 Brian Allen on the gram, so, you know. Uh, to be honest with you, bro, I think it's just because I don't I, I don't know my sound, bro. Okay. You know, it, it's been so long since I made music. It's been a year and a half, two years since I got back into it. Um, I, like I said, I, I really enjoy... Um, I like that you say, you know, I'm trying to figure out my exact sound, too. Absolutely. I think that's dope that you can just genuinely come out and say that, bro. Yeah. And I think by recording more, by getting out there, putting out new music, seeing what your fans say to you, like, oh, I fuck with this, or like, yo, this is my shit, and maybe you mm-hmm. find, like, three tracks that they keep fucking with that's similar to that same style, bro. And I can figure it then, out. And like, okay, I'm onto something here. This is what people are gravitating towards. This is what I'm going to gear towards. That's exactly why I do it. Mm-hmm. I feel you, bro. I think that's smart, and I think it's dope that you can, because you never know. You might have three different sounds, and all three of them are unique and good, too. You know what I'm saying? You really never know. Um, okay, so you said the producer you're working with right now? Uh, so the producer that I'm working with right now, his name is Nico Noor, okay. um, dude from Germany that I just met over YouTube, you know. From Germany. Yeah, so, bro, literally what I do is, like, if I find a dope, like, YouTube or just somebody finds me on Instagram, I'll rap to the beat, I'll put my all into it, because I feel like producers deserve more respect than what they get, for real, bro. At the end of the day, when a producer is making a beat, they want somebody to bring that to life. They want to hit that certain instrument or pull out that emotion that they felt when they made that beat. So anytime I cook to somebody's beat, before I release it, do anything, I put my all into it, especially if I'm fucking with it, send it to them, and I let them know, like, hey, bro, I haven't done nothing with it. I just want your blessing on it. I, I want to know that I did your beat justice, and I gave it, you know, like, and you're proud of what For I sure. did to it. For sure. So, and, you know, same thing with him. He showed me some love, and boom, now we got Black Jack. Fire. Who would you say, like, you know, growing up as a kid, um, or even right now, inspires you? Who inspires me? Um, musically or just in general? Musically. Musically. Um, so I say as far as music goes, who really inspires me, man, this is tough, bro, because I listen to a lot of music. Um, I would honestly say Drake, and I feel whack for no, saying that's that, okay. bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I know how people had their mixed emotions about it, but it's just the, the stint that he went on for so long and with the versatile sound that he had. Yeah. Most people know him. Oh, you got the... Come yeah. on now. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, he has that, that lover boy R&B sound, but at the end of the day, he does have some stuff. He's really... You know, he's good with the subliminals. He's really good with the double entendres, like really having those hidden messages in there. And I, I take a lot from that because I, I really go by Brent Allen, the hidden talent, as like my alias. Because I don't know my sound. I feel like I got multiple. I don't want to be put in a box. I don't want to be like really a rapper for real. Mm-hmm. I don't even really want to be a singer for real because I, I just want to be an artist, it's, you know? It's crazy. Like you just said, you know, everybody knows him for like, you know, kind of that singing stuff too. But look what happened to Meek Mill. And, uh, Body. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. It's like, you know, he's that man. He's that guy, bro. Uh, mm-hmm. He's that boy. And like... He's dropping certified lover boy. Here, this is what I'm gonna say about Drake, and everybody needs to understand this right All now. Right. Drake is about to fuck this whole fucking world up, and let me Do tell you. Do you think he's gonna change the album? No, it's it's I, it's done. I think he's mixing. I think it's done. This mm. is this is why everybody should be put on notice right now with Drake. Okay. This album really has been done for about a year. He didn't drop it obviously these past 18 months because of COVID. And what's the point of dropping a classic album in the middle of a pandemic where I can't tour my music? It makes no sense. So he's like, Mm. he's like, well, I'm not dropping this shit. What the fuck am I going to drop it for? I can't even go to, because Drake's not just 
touring here in the United States. He goes all Everywhere. over the world. Global. You can't travel during a global pandemic worldwide. So that's the first thing he said is business-wise, I'm not dropping this. That this is classic. So I'm not, I can't tour it, so I'm not dropping it. Then he fucking tore his ACL or his MCL. And he was on crutches for six months. Okay. So that happened. So that pushed the delay more. This is why everybody needs to be on notice, though. Drake was locked down in Canada in his house for a year. And during the pandemic, Canada, no one was able to leave anywhere. He wasn't even, he had, if you know, the pop star music video that Khaled recorded with Bieber was done here in LA. And the reason was that Bieber did the whole video because Drake couldn't come here to record the video, but he had to get the video out for pop star. Gotcha. So Bieber and Khaled recorded it here for Drake. And that was the pop star video. Pop star was Bieber. Um, my point of this is, is Drake's been sitting in a studio now for a, over a year and a half and he's just been sitting. Mm -hmm. and just fucking sitting and all just he's been able brain. to do is music and he's been able to scrap songs that maybe he didn't want and put new ones on there and come up with new ideas and uh i just know that he's had too much time mm -hmm. and too much time with drake you know what's about to happen oh absolutely that's just my take on it so i mean look at that three piece he dropped mm -hmm. number one two three right was uh lemon pepper was on there with ross shout mm -hmm. out to boss lemon, lemon pepper was on there baby track was on there and then he i think he had a solo joint yep absolutely one, two, and three. Yeah, that he, man is, yeah, he's goaded for sure. My guy, bro. All right, before we get into this performance, bro, um, mm -hmm. you can have one feature. Who's it gonna be? Uh, if I can have one feature, who's it gonna be? Party next door. One feature in Arizona. Who's it gonna be? One feature in Arizona. Uh, ooh, Party next door is fire, by the way. Uh, thank you. Um, damn, there's so many, know, bro. Because like, I don't off. have a feature with Josh, bro. Okay. I don't have a feature with Sin. Um, I'll probably say her for real. Same. I don't lie. All right. Yeah, because I've I haven't worked with a female okay. ever, ever, bro. Um, and yeah, the fact that she can rap how she does on top of her vocals for real, good God. Kanye or Drake's album? They both dropped the same day. Who you listen to first? Oh, I'm Drake's okay. for sure. Yeah, you know, but because like I know, I feel like I know what to expect. I feel like with Kanye, I'm gonna hear some fire samples, some mm -hmm. crazy production. It's gonna have that choir feel. Like I'm. Like that upper and really touch your of, soul later. Yeah, absolutely. With Drake, I know he's gonna say those things that resonate with me as far as like I said, the rhyme schemes, the way he's hiding the messages in the bar. We're getting like twenty I think we're getting about eighteen to twenty tracks from Drake. I can see that. Absolutely. We're definitely we're not getting no absolutely. twelve pack or anything later. We're getting eighteen no. to twenty. Yeah. And then there'll probably be a deluxe. Yes. I see that as well. Dude, he's been sitting on music for two years. Mm -hmm. What's he dropped? Like six songs in two years? Yeah. Come on. Think about mm -hmm. that. That's a smart way to do it. You're going to have all this music you release, and then you got old music you release. He is that. going to own, whenever he drops, then his two, then immediately the tour starts, everything. Dude, he's, he's it's about to happen. He can have another decade run. I can see it. For sure. Because musically, I don't really see anybody else. <laughs> it's funny. I was just saying this before we wrap up the narrative, and then we're going to be those old dudes in Vegas, like 50, 60 years old, like... Drake's here, bro. Drake's performing all of his old classics, for real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll be 60 years old seeing Drake perform, bro. Probably all of his classics, bro. Just like, you know, how all of our parents now go to these yeah. same shit, bro. I'm going to be at that concert. OVO, baby. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I'll be there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm being serious, though. Yeah, no, for real. <laughs> no, he's dope. All right. I got my guy, Brent Allen, in the studio right now, bro. Um, Listen, Arizona recording artist, if you're listening to this right now, if you're out of the state, if you're out of the country, tap in with my guy. Um, The performance is about to happen. Um, find him on social media right now uh, Instagram it's 815 Brent Allen is your YouTube Brent Allen uh, same thing 815 Brent Allen everything yeah. is 815 is that because of Chicago too bro yeah Illinois yeah, yeah 815 very cool bro mm -hmm. yeah, I feel that 815 Brent Allen we're both from the shy we're both from Illinois um, he got a career that's coming right now so make sure you tap in with him hit him on the gram hit him on YouTube everything is 815 Brent Allen um, with that we're going to perform two tracks today one's older one's newer mm hmm uh, tracks are coming Music videos are coming Projects are coming Absolutely. If you're a promoter Book my guy um, It's an up and coming dream right here Let's go Appreciate you my dog Sure First quarter bro My guy Brent Allen In the studio bro We're about to do this performance live right now Let's go Coach Hi Coach your boy. Yeah, all right, baby. Hey, 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 how you doing today? Hello. My name is Alan the Talent. I'm here to do damage and step yeah. to the challenge. Prepared, of course. I show results and I don't show remorse. Sitting at the top thinking, what's the alternative? Can't come down and stay up to the turbulence. Swipe down, pussy. This pressure is permanent. Fuck what you claim, nigga. We never heard of it. Hit a clean house and refurnish it. Uh, step to the mic and I'm burning it. Uh, if it's a dollar, I'm earning it. And if that pussy is wet, I submerge in it. Hold on. Baby, the greatest is back. Fingers was itching. I got to the scratch. Doing my thing, niggas better adapt. Recover. 
crack addicts in me and relax. Cause I'm kicking that dope shit, long live Mac. Lucky ass bitch got hit from the back. I call it Tetris, look my mustache. Life so sweet and my Cody is at. This ain't cool winky dink. I sacrifice sleep so I can succeed. Wreck to the bull, start spreading my wings. I feel like a banger cause those what I need and I don't get fatigued. I bet I'm up when you wake. In in my nights when you started your day. I keep the bar and I dink on the play. Cause I say what I mean and I mean what I say. So how could you cap? What happened to Dignity? Flex in the dark but in person get fidgety. Say that they were but we see no activity. Say they got loud but we don't hear the frequency. Are you kidding me? I don't even know how they walk out the house. Say that they got it, but say it with doubt. See, I planted the seed and it's starting to sprout. So how could you cap? What happened to Dignity? Flex in the dark, but in person get fidgety. Say that they were, but we see no activity. Say they got loud, but we don't hear the frequency. Are you kidding me? First quarter ship, bro. Fire. Appreciate That's you, my just in my vibe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what we got now? What we got now? All right, so do or die is from my new project, Black Jack. Let's coming go. up. It's coming up in August. Whole different vibe. Hopefully, y'all fuck with it. Black Jack, August. Do or die. Let's go. Yeah. Thoughts in the cup, my emotions in the backwood Tell my folks that I'm good when I'm not good Cause I know that tomorrow's not promised So I put an ice box where my heart is Can I ask one thing? Over time, why the people change? How long can smiles cover the pain? How can I shine when my clouds are gray? Yes, do it, I If I'm down tomorrow, what you think of you and I? Says do it I If I die tomorrow, damn, well at least I try uh, If I die tomorrow, damn, well at least I try Like it's do it I You can never say I didn't give no effort Always apply pressure Hey, what's the day when I always gave you all of me They see us fly together, but yeah, we ruffle feathers If they only knew that it ain't what it used to be I need uplifted to keep me on my toes Cause everything that glitter ain't gold What they do ain't what was told How are you solid when you always fold? Goddamn, what you do to me? Now I'm cold like the VVs in my jewelry I did wrong, but that's new to me How can you love and hate you confusing me? Thoughts in the car, my emotions in the backwood Tell my folks that I'm good when I'm not good Cause I know that tomorrow's not promised So I put an ice box where my heart is Can I ask one thing? Over time, why do people change? How long can smiles cover the pain? How can I shine when my clouds are gray? Yes, do it, I If I'm gone tomorrow, what you think of you and I? I said it's do or die If I die tomorrow, damn, well at least I try yeah. If I die tomorrow, damn, well at least I try Like it's do or die Do or die, baby, first yeah. quarter Projects, bro, heat, bro, fire mm, appreciate Projects, you, bro. bro, you got a style to you, dog Appreciate you, bro. Oh, yeah. I really appreciate that. Dope, bro. I appreciate you sliding, bro. Uh, looking forward to your career, bro. Anything we can do to help you here, let us know. Appreciate you. Um, hit me up with some, you know, early releases if you can, you know. I ain't catch gonna show dog. it to anybody, bro. Let me, let me, let me catch a vibe, you know. I like that new music. Appreciate you, dog. Uh, that's kind of one of the cool things about doing this. I get sent some sometimes before anybody else gets to hear them. So. Absolutely, Maddie got the exclusives. That's the fun part about this, bro. Um, my guys on Gram eight one five Brian Allen. Um, Catch him for shows, promoters, hit him for bookings. Artists, if you're trying to work with him, hit him. See, nice what, work, see what he has to say. Um, we did it again. Shout out the Kaleidoscope Kid, Josh, for everything, bro. And uh, with that, on to the next one, dog. And uh, Appreciate you. I'll be seeing you again. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, bro. All right, bro. Bye, dog.